Lindsay, I love you. Oh, thank you, Orlando. Hey! You said you loved me! He never said that, and wearing a wedding dress isn't gonna change his mind. But you do! I know you do! Orlando, let's go to the beach! Hey, get away! He's mine! He says you have an ugly body. It's exactly the same as yours, and that dress is so ghetto. What does that mean? Oh, well, in school, if something's cheesy, we call it ghetto. But honey, that's like making fun of the underprivileged, like, you know, naming ugly clothes after their neighborhood. Hey, I didn't make it up. Leave my man alone! I think you're really nice. You want to go swimming? Why is she suddenly so happy? She's manic depressive. Hey, Ma, how do you know when it's true love? Usually you make the music louder and you can move in on them. Or sometimes they look up in slow motion. No, not on TV, in real life. Real life? Is? Why is there a Ken doll in the heat vent? Oh, remember when you had Alzheimer's and you wandered off? Well, I'm starting to not care so much about Barbies. But she's just getting her life together. She's got a Jeep, she, she's got a horse, a recording studio. Yeah, but, you know, it's make-believe. It's not satisfying. You want a sandwich? Yes, please, Mr. Houdini. Ah, the voice fits. <laughs> a little gummed up still, but it works. What else can you say? Name's Benji, Mr. Houdini. Benji, Mr. Houdini? Well, I dropped the second part. It's already spoken for. Just plain Benji sounds good to me. Just plain Benji isn't much of a name either. Well, we have a comedian here. Mr. Sugarman, maybe she can do the warm-up. Mm. I'm not a comedian, Mr. Houdini. No? Well, what do you do for a living? Rob banks, train fleas, dance the Highland Fling? Steal from dressing rooms? I'm a psychic. Well, more a sort of disciple. Oh, a psychic sidekick, huh? The tantalizing Princess Kali and her dusky disciple. That's you, huh? We were at the top of the bell at McTavish's palace. Top of the bill at the palace, eh? Well, I think I have a little something for you, too. Tonight's performance. Don't be late. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Houdini. <clears throat> My mom doesn't do tricks like it's real, Mr. Houdini. It's no jiggery pokery. Sorry, girl. I'm sure she's a great kid. Goodbye. She's got the gifts. Bye bye now. See? Yes? What do you think it would feel like to be someone else? Cooler, I should hope. I'm worried about the play. I'm sure it's a masterpiece. But we only have the afternoon to rehearse. What if the twins can't act? You have to be nice to them. I don't know how you'd feel if your mother had run off with Mr. What's his name who reads the news on the wireless. Perhaps I should have written Leon a story. If you write a story, you only have to say the word castle and you can see the towers and the woods and the village below, but in a play, it's... It all depends on other people. Mm. See? Yes. Why don't you talk to Robbie anymore? I do. I just move in different circles, that's all. Were your parents arrested with you? They're dead. We lived on a farm outside Warsaw. When the Russians came, they said we were kuleks and exploiting the peasants. My parents were afraid and hid me in the barn. I found them later. I... I found them down in the mud. They'd been brushed and strangled with barbed wire. Later, the Russians caught me and sent me to a collective farm. They were cruel to me. I ran away. I had no food. And then I saw you. Hey. Hello. Don't you speak English? It's not your fault you can't. 
MIA couldn't speak English until she was eight because she was like a refugee or something from Sri Lanka. And now she's a pop star in America too. So don't worry if you can't speak English yet. Who's she? I found her. She can't speak English. She's from Sri Lanka. I'm from Germany. Oh. I live in Leipzig, population 0.7 million people. We live at number seven Weisinger Platz. I like literature and sport, in particular tennis and athletics. I go to school at the Klaus Kohl Gymnasium, and my best friends are Rudi Gunther and Clara Schlies. They sound fun. I also have a dog called Trudy. He had a dog called Vincent. He went mad and died. I'm Sophie, and that's my brother Miles. I'm Hannah. Do you need to live somewhere? No. I prefer to walk. See yourself. You let me say what I want to say. I don't think you'll mind. Okay. You remember that after I had dinner at your house, you told me you loved me. Well, I didn't really know what to say. But I know what to say now. I have thought about you. And I like you. And I like being with you. And... Maybe... I feel the same way. So the next time you tell me you love me, if there is a next time, I'll say I love you too. Are you serious? Yes. Holy shit. Excuse my language, but I thought we were having a different kind of talk. Can I go home now? You love me? Yes. But don't ask me anything else, and don't talk about our kids being Dodgers fans. Oh, what? You want kids who like the Yankees? Tony, please, don't push All me. All right. I'm sorry. Hey, so I talked to my manager, and um, you can totally take over my old job. Great. Thanks, Miguel. I'm so proud of you, Lady Bird. You walked weird across the stage, but you did it. I didn't walk weird. Well, it seemed a little weird the way you walked. Hey, hey, oh, I miss you guys. Uh, did you find out about the wait list? Oh, fuck. What? I'm not even in yet, so this might not even be a problem. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have gone behind your back. I just, it's not like I'm definitely going to New York. Mom. Mom. Aren't you sort of proud that I'm so close to getting in? Just a little. I mean, yes, I know it was probably easier because 9-11 and less people applying with terrorism and all that, but still though, I'm sorry. I know I can lie and not be a good person, but please, Mom. Please, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I, I appreciate everything you've done for me. I'm ungrateful and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I wanted more. Just please talk to me. I know I'm, I'm so bad. I know I am. But please just talk to me, Mom. Mom, please talk to me.